So the first and most important mistake I see people make when they do an elimination diet is they don't cut out enough foods. And the best way I can explain this is with an analogy that I tell a lot of my patients. If you imagine inflammation as a fire, and you imagine that if you're inflamed, your body is on fire, as unpleasant as that sounds to imagine. Um, if you imagine that your body is on fire and you're trying to get the fire to go out to quench the inflammation and heal your body, also imagine in the scenario that you're reacting poorly to three food sensitivities and you're trying to figure out what those are. If you remove just one of those sensitivities, if there's like three guys pouring gasoline on the fire and you remove just one of them, do you think you're gonna notice much of a difference? Probably not, because you still have those other two dudes pouring gasoline on your fire. So instead, you need to do a strict enough elimination diet and with enough culprit or potential culprit foods that you successfully eliminate all of the triggers that are pouring gasoline on your fire, and then you will see the, the fire start to die out and your body will start to heal. Um, for me, I actually learned this from firsthand experience, first and foremost, when I started my healing journey, a lot of you know that I have an autoimmune condition and I've had gut stuff on and off. But when I started my healing journey, that was one of the first things I did was a food elimination diet. And I just went through the list. And I said, I'm going to eliminate the big ones. I'm going to go gluten-free, dairy-free, soy, corn, egg, uh, peanuts, and I think maybe shellfish I did. I cut out all of those foods strictly for a number of months, added them in one at a time meticulously, and I felt nothing. And I was shocked. I thought for sure I have some sort of health stuff that would respond to this. I'm not even gluten sensitive. You gotta be kidding me. Lo and behold, I did not know at the time, I was also very reactive to sesame. And for me, I joke I'm a recovered vegetarian. So I was eating store-bought hummus with sesame seed paste in it every single day while I was doing this elimination diet. So for me, I successfully eliminated two out of my three foods, my other two being gluten and dairy. I now know that not only am I reactive to gluten, I probably am a celiac and I'm horrendously intolerant to dairy. But when I removed just two of the guys pouring gasoline on my fire, I didn't feel a difference. The fire still was a burn-in. It wasn't until I eliminated my third trigger food, sesame seeds, that I really noticed a difference and I was able to finally heal my gut get my autoimmunity to calm down and get my immune system and my body to a much quieter, happy place. So there's a delicate balance. You don't want to go down to just drinking water and nothing else, but make sure that you do a strict enough elimination diet and you cut out enough possible foods that you give yourself the potential to feel a difference. That's the biggest thing. I'll see you in the next video.